Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and it's cold down here in Georgia. Uh, current temperature right now is about 28 degrees. Uh, it doesn't normally get this cold uh, in Georgia. It does occasionally, but uh, it's it's not common like other parts of the country. So we're, we're kind of cold down here, 28 degrees. It's supposed to go down to about 16 tonight. And then with the wind chill tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, it's going to be uh, somewhere in the single digits. And uh, that's a, a pretty rare occurrence for Georgia. Single digits is not very common at all. It does happen, but not not common. So, uh, whew. But anyhow, uh, I was on the K4SWL website. And uh, Terry uh, was talking about how she was doing a uh pod activation and the park she was at in florida did not allow any wire strings or anything in the trees and she had a n-fed antenna and uh they said no so she kind of had to do something different well you know i've kind of worked through that and what i use is a 28 and a half foot random wire antenna the original idea I got from Thomas K4SWL, and I call it my K4SWL Plus Antenna. And I talk about it in my blog and on my YouTube videos a lot, but I've never really put it all together like in one um, blog post YouTube channel. So today I thought I would take a moment and kind of talk about just the antenna and then have links to where I built the different parts of it. it this is a homemade antenna. So, um, you know, bear with me as I go through it. But I thought I would do it to help other folks that run into similar situations. Now, I've been using this antenna since uh, 2022. And I take it to parks. I, I set up in campsites. Uh, the park rangers, the park uh, managers park employees they all go right past me and we wave at each other and so it, it you know they're happy i'm happy so anyhow i'm gonna switch the camera around and then kind of show you what i what i use and then give links on how you can make your own Alrighty, um just wanted to take a, a quick moment to show the icicles on my truck uh, again that's not a very common occurrence here in georgia <laughs> but it does happen. So my antenna is a 28 and a half foot random wire antenna. And this is it, and I'll go through it. Um, I currently use a jack tight 31 foot fiberglass push-up pole. It goes inside this, which is a, a flag holder and then I use this extender. And the reason why I use the extender is it extends this out enough where I can still open my tailgate with the antenna still connected to my truck. When I go camping, uh, depending on the campsite, I'll either use my truck hitch or I'll use the trailer hitch on the back of my camper, whichever one has a clear shot to the sky to set my antenna up. And usually between one or the other, I can get a clear shot without getting in the trees. And again, like I said, I use this antenna with in parks and a lot of park employees pass by me. They take a look, we wave at each other. Uh, I've had zero complaints. So the main components of the antenna are a 28 and a half foot, antenna wire and this is um some 14 i believe it's 14 gauge uh flex weave uh insulated flex weave i got from the wire man um, that is my uh, 3d printed insulator and then for a counterpoise again it's more uh 14 gauge flex weave and, and i've had this stuff for 10 or 15 years as part of a couple other antenna projects uh, for a while i was using some 22 24 gauge antenna but then i thought i'm not carrying this on my back 
And I'd rather have a sturdier antenna when I set up and tear down. Like I said, I do Funcom and MCOM, and so this gives me a better antenna. And if I don't, you know, if I'm not packing it, then what's the extra weight? The uh, main part, uh, this is homemade. This is a nine to one unin. The torrid and the cabling and the instructions came from Palomar Engineers. And then the bits and bobs are off of Amazon. And I'll give you some of the main stuff. And then it is connected to, this is a one to one current ballon. And all that is, is a toroid. And I wrapped it about five or six times. And then the connections are one to one, you know, center to center, ground to ground. And what that does is it kind of acts as a as a current choke to prevent RF from getting back into my radio. And I discovered that you really need that, <laughs> especially with a random wire antenna. Uh, my connector is just a piece of RG316. I like RG316, I use it a lot. Um, sometimes I will put a, um, a, a BNC to uh, PL259 connector and then run um, so RG8X, but uh, I have no trouble working the RG316. So that's pretty much it. It's a it's a short video. I'm going to do a write-up in the blog, and I'll I'll include you know links to some of this stuff. This antenna goes up and comes down very very quickly. I mean, I do it in minutes, and I've had it out in the weather. I've had it in the rain. I've had it in the cold rain. I haven't had it in snow yet. But I've had it in the wind. Uh, it does a very good job, and I work. I mean, you can go back through my blog posts when I do activations. In almost all my blogs, I tell you what antenna I use, and I also include a QSO map to see where I've, how far I've gotten or how many I've contacted. And the antenna is really good. It works really well from 80 down to about 6. Uh, 160 is kind of sketchy. Um, if I'm really going to do stuff in 160, I would rather use my MCOM 2 antenna. It works better. But this does a good job. So this is it. Like I said, I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to, uh, you know, write a blog post. And I'll get links to all the stuff I use. At least most of the stuff. Uh, you know, some of the bits and bobs, like the BNC connectors, you guys can find that. Uh, the brass hardware, you can get that at your hardware store. But I'll, I'll look. I'll look all the other stuff up and I'll get it for you. And you can build your own. Like I said, if you're having trouble, um, you know, getting an antenna up in the park, uh, there's no complaints here because there are no wires in the trees and there are no holes in the ground and nobody bothers you. Like I said, I've had this antenna up. I've been using this antenna almost religiously since 2022 and I get zero complaints. So, Anyhow, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, uh, you know, I, I hope it helps some of you guys get there to, to get on the air. And that's the important thing. Get on the air and, and do the CW or do whatever you do and get out there and make contacts. 73s from Scott.